So I had my next video completely written, recorded, partially in the editing process, and then Universal decided to drop a bomb, the big thing that everybody has been talking about for the past year when it comes to Universal, the replacement for Shrek 4D. Uh, it's finally been announced, and it's pretty much what everyone was expecting it to be. Villain Con Minion Blast opening in summer of 2023. So we got that information, and uh, I kind of wanted to make a quick unscripted video, just kind of talking a little bit about the announcement, talking about some of the details found in the press release, but also uh, how the announcement and the subsequent announcements that came with it um, if are going to affect the park, uh, the front area of Universal Studios Florida. So I just kind of wanted to do a little uh, thoughts, speculation, um, theories, maybe trying to, trying to make some connections, and uh, just kind of talking about the announcement, because I feel like it is pretty newsworthy. So I have the press release pulled up here. I'm not going to read the whole thing because I feel like that could get kind of boring just kind of reading the Universal's uh, description of the ride, but I will point out stuff that's interesting to me and might be interesting to you. So let's get into it. So here we have Illuminations Villain Con Minion Blast. So that's the official name. Uh, people are probably just going to shorthand this Villain Con or Minion Blast or the Minion Ride. I don't think anybody's going to be calling it the full uh, name, kind of like how people do with Hagrid's. Uh, people don't call that um, Hagrid's Magical Creature Motorbike Adventure. Uh, people just call it Hagrid's. Developed in partnership between Universal's award-winning creative team and the acclaimed filmmakers from Illumination, this interactive blaster game experience will invite guests to put their villainous skills to the test as they compete against each other in a bid to join the ranks of the franchise's most infamous supervillains. So this is a interactive game type attraction. Think of something like Men in Black or if you're you know more of a Disney fan like Toy Story Mania, uh, Buzz Lightyear, uh, those type of uh, shooter attractions I'm guessing. I'm guessing that's what they mean by interactive blaster game. Um, and I think this is an interesting take. I remember when this was first sort of talked about, um, it was rumored to just be a sort of a walkthrough attraction, um, which I think would have been cool, but I don't know if that would have really appealed to majority of people, including kids. I don't think kids would have really grappled on to like the idea of a walkthrough, just looking at the minions doing crazy stuff, um, but having that interactive element um, and the idea that you're competing against each other, of course, it's that sort of fun layer uh, for families. And I wonder if they're going to do like a leaderboard. Um, you know, Men in Black, people kind of keep track of their personal bests. And they have leaderboards within like each ride sequence. But I wonder if they're going to have like an all-day leaderboard. Like I know Toy Story Mania has like an all-day, uh, all like month, week, whatever uh, leaderboard. So I think that'd be pretty interesting to have in this new attraction. Now this it, this next part is pretty interesting. It says, Villain Con Minion Blast combines innovative screen technology, state-of-the-art gaming, and elaborate physical sets to create a one-of-a-kind game-based adventure where guests encounter immersive environments, villains, and tons of mischievous minions um, along the way. So. Yeah, of, of course, a screen ride. Everybody, you know, says universal screen ride, but, you know, who is really expecting this to not be a screen ride, especially with the sort of limited space they have from Shrek? But I like that they were talking about physical sets. I really, really am happy to hear that they're going to be putting some sets in there. Now, I don't know if it's going to be more like Transformers or Spider-Man with sets work with the animatronics, um, or if it's going to be like uh, sets by themselves. You're going to maybe have some physical uh, scenes and some screens, kind of like a little bit of both, maybe like a la Rise of the Resistance or something like that. But I'm really kind of interested to see what they're going to do with the physical sets. Uh, maybe having some minion animatronics, maybe some effects that uh, you trigger with your blaster movement. The world-class attraction transports guests to Villain Con, the biggest criminal convention on the planet. Um, and it mentions the Vicious Six, a notorious group of supervillains from the hit film Minions Rise of Gru. So I think that's interesting because it's talking about Minions Rise of Gru as, like, the focus for this ride, um, and of course, like, a villain con, like, the setting, which will be really fun for a shooter, um, kind of gallery shooter type ride, um, because it's, it's, like, a convention, so it's, like, each little stand, at least that's th from the clips in the film, um, but... It does mention Minions Rise of Gru. Of course, that was the hit movie of the summer. You know, everybody was going to go see Minions. I made Universal a ton of money. So I'm not surprised that they're going more with that route. Uh, so maybe we will see Gru appear in this um, ride. But I think it's also interesting because on the promo art piece, the key art um, that we've seen, we see the... Uh, the 80s villain from the third movie, I can't remember his name, I think it's like a B something, I'll put it on the screen there. Um, we have the uh, 
the the the, the <laughs> The woman from the first Minions movie. I can't remember these people's names. Um, but the woman from the first Minions movie. Again, name on the bottom. And also Vector from the first Despicable Me. Now, I remember him. And I think it's interesting that those three familiar characters are going to come back. Not sure who the other two are. They must be from the Minions Rise of Crew. I haven't seen that movie. Um, but the other ones I have seen. Uh, because I've seen the other Despicable Me and Minions. I saw the first Minions movie a long time ago. But the timelines are weird because Vector is like a kid, right? So how would he really be interacting in the 60s will this take place in like the 60s 70s will the adult crew be in the ride i don't know a lot of questions that i guess we're going to get answered i think i'm i think i'm diving a little too deep into this so it talks about guests will grab an interactive blaster so it's not going to be like bluetooth i was wondering if it was going to be like a bluetooth a thing almost like a web slingers situation um it would be like bluetooth based but it is going to be a blaster um from what i can see and step onto a motion based pathway to put their skills to the test so of course, this is going to be using the uh, moving walkway system um, that they use uh, in the parking garages and such. So, um, pretty interesting. Uh, you know, I would love for them to do maybe a little Easter egg of the moving walkway spiel. Maybe have the minions, like, say something like that um, would be kind of funny. Um, but, uh, yeah, I think it's kind of interesting using this technology. It reminds me a lot of the uh, shark encounter in SeaWorld. And I think this moving walkway is going to be good in keeping the crowd flow. Uh, hopefully, I don't know what the line situation for this is going to look like. Will they use a virtual queue? Because the Shrek queue didn't really have that much room for lines. I guess they did have the outdoor queue portion, but I wonder if any of that's going to change. You can't really see it behind the construction walls at this point. Um, but they had the outdoor queue, and they never really needed to use it. But they're probably going to need to use it for this. Um, but if the, it keeps moving, I wonder what the line situation here will be looking like. And in that the case, how long it will this attraction be? Will this be like a three, four minute ride? Well, they are probably gonna end up using both theaters, right? Both Shrek theater spaces for this attraction. So I don't know, again, more questions that we're not gonna get answered until that ride opens. Now, the last piece of the press release that I wanted to talk about was the fact that VillainCon Minion Blast will open in summer 2023, as I said earlier, with the new Minion Land on Illumination Avenue. This new area will also feature the fan favorite Minion Mayhem attraction, which we already have, we've had for 10 years, a new Minion Cafe, and surprises inspired by popular characters from Illumination's blockbuster franchises. So we're not just getting this attraction, we're also getting the Minions Cafe, which was also rumored, um, R.I.P. Monsters Cafe, um, but I, I'm curious what the other additions are going to be. And this is kind of what I talk, was talking about with like the ramifications of this in not just this like little area, because this is completely fundamentally changing the front of the park. You know, we're not getting Production Central. Production Central is essentially dead once this opens. It will be then Illumination Avenue, which makes sense. Um, once this announcement was made that they were closing Shrek and the rumored minions were taking over, I felt like Illumination needed to be the next logical shift over there. Min's Cafe, you know, we already kind of know. Um, if it's anything like Hollywood's, I'm very excited to see it. It has a really nice exterior, which will be a good tr um, sort of like transfer point to New York because it kind of has that like brick exterior. That Again, that's if they're going to go with the one they're using in Hollywood. Um, but I'm excited to try the food there, although I will never... Uh, forget Monsters Cafe, but um, I'm very interested to see what's going to happen there, but also the fact that they talk about the multiple different franchises, which Illumination franchises, you got Secret Life of Pets, notably being one of them, so could we see maybe a Secret Life of Pets meet and greet, possibly where the old donkey meet and greet was? Uh, what else do they have? Hop? I mean, I don't really see them using Hop anymore, but they still have the costumes, I'm sure, because they had them in the uh, Superstar Parade originally. Um, and I think the other main franchise is like the Dr. Seuss stuff, which I don't see them incorporating here. I could see that's more of a thing in, in, uh, in Islands of Venture, but um, that's really interesting though. So more illumination in the park, which I'm always, uh, you know, always a fan of them using more of the characters. The minions are great, but you can't really carry a whole minion land unless you just do super silly fun land that they have in Hollywood. Um, so it looks like they're going to be trying a new take, especially with this new attraction that's exclusive to Universal Orlando. In the Hello Kitty Betty Boop store, um, that's obviously right next to minions, was the original I Love Lucy, um, experience like theater uh walk through museum um and uh that i believe is going to be closing i don't see that lasting much longer um just because if they're theming everything to illumination um i it's i find it interesting because super mario brothers is illumination film they have super nintendo stores in hollywood and kind of like similar areas in hollywood 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 like like hollywood section 
of Universal Hollywood. Um, and it's sort of like that that um, preparation for their Nintendo world to open. And of course, ours is coming soon, 2025, so it's not that far off. So we could use some merchandise to start trickling in. Uh, I would probably um, go broke when that happens, but maybe they transform that little corner store um, into a uh, Super Mario Brothers uh, Nintendo store would be, I think, a little better for them to do that um, because it is right there in the corner and you could have the characters maybe meeting outside. I mean, maybe get some Mario, Luigi, some Toad, Princess Peach, you know, get some characters outside. Um, that would be pretty interesting. But that's just some of my thoughts about this whole Minions Villain Con. I really just wanted to make a quick video to talk about it. Um, I wasn't planning on doing a whole like essay about it because there's not much to talk about right now. But I really want to know your opinion on it. Are you excited for this new attraction? I know I am. Um, I'm hoping they do some past previews for this attraction because I would love to uh, get to experience this. I don't know if I'm going to be waiting on opening day for this attraction, um, but I am definitely going to go to try Minions Cafe as soon as I can. But what are your thoughts on the new attraction? What are your thoughts on the other Universal Illumination properties possibly coming to this area? Um, do you think it'll be pets, Mario, really anything? Uh, maybe there's some that I'm missing, I don't know. But uh, make sure to leave it in the comments. I really want to know your thoughts about all of this. Um, what's really going on with Illumination and how far will they go um, to incorporate the Illumination characters into the park and what this Illumination Avenue can bring. Obviously, we're very early on in the uh, in the sort of speculation about that, so I might have to make another video talking about it. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little one. Again, unscripted totally. These are just off-the-top thoughts. Um, but again, if you did enjoy this video, uh, consider liking and subscribing. I do like to do videos talking about like the news and stuff that comes out of the parks, mostly Universal, uh, but Disney Disney stuff, once we get some pretty solid Disney news, um, I'll definitely want to uh, make a video on that. And also the escape room just opened today, so um, I might be checking that out in the near future. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and uh, that Cosmic Rewind video needs to get edited, so I'm going to go do that, and uh, I will see you all next time.